For millions of Russians drawn from an older generation, this is how they remember the Crimea. Summer holidays in the Soviet vacation land, an annual break on the shores of the Black Sea, a chance to escape the daily grind of life in the Soviet Union. Retired civil servant Alexander Lesenkov and his wife and their children spent many summers down in the Crimea and for them it will always be part of the motherland. It was a nice place for a vacation, warm, light, the sea, so romantic. And another reason why those memories are so strong, their young son. Chronically ill for most of his life, the balmy climate of the Crimea restored him to health. My son learned how to swim there. He became so much healthier, stopped getting sick all the time. It was back in 1954 that the Crimea was lost to Russia. President Nikita Khrushchev loved the Ukraine. It's where he rose through the ranks of the Communist Party. And with the USSR never stronger, handing over the peninsula to reward his favorite republic was of little importance. It took just 15 minutes of discussion in the Soviet Presidium. The Ukrainian and Russian flags flying together. The gift was delivered in a spirit of friendship and trust as the people of the Crimea, 70% ethnic Russians, celebrated. And who would have believed that in less than 40 years the old Soviet Union would have been swept away and the flag that once flew over land from Eastern Europe to the shores of the Pacific had now become a $10 tourist souvenir. The history and the heritage of the former Soviet Union now found on cheap t-shirts. But there is a constituency here that misses life back in the USSR. I think that we, we can really uh, understand the feelings of those people who, who are very nostalgic over the Soviet time, uh, elderly people. And actually this is a backbone of Russia's current support in Crimea. There's not youngsters, but, but old people by the idea of lost a uh, family of nation of which uh, Ukraine was part and the parcel. People like Alexander and his wife remembering the summer songs from so long ago. The weekend referendum can bring only one result for them, the return of a much-loved part of their past to Mother Russia. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera, Moscow.